Seahawks escape this one, come from behind and win it 21 to 20. That's five straight wins against the Cards. That's the first time that's happened in franchise history. 13 plus losses in back-to-back -back seasons for Arizona, but they're rolling with K1. They think that's QB1, 22 of 30, 262 for Murray. Geno Smith, maybe it wasn't the season it was last year, the revelation, the renaissance, if you will, but that's the quarterback in Seattle moving forward as the Cardinals are now locked into the fourth overall pick in the NFL draft. Pete Carroll gets his 170th career win. That's tied 15th all time. All right, when it comes to winning seasons, there are certain brands that just live at or above 500. But we're talking about above since 2012. Nobody's got more. The Seahawks, 11, the Chiefs as well. Does not get you into the playoffs this year. Above 500, couple wins, couple plays, couple bounces. You're having a different conversation about Seattle. Back in studio here to chop it up about two teams and maybe specifically more one here in the Seattle Seahawks whose season comes to a close here on a winning note. Yeah. Geno Smith, the quarterback, goes down, does what we've seen him do a couple times over these last two seasons and orchestrates a game-winning drive. How do you walk away from this season feeling about Seattle? There were injuries throughout. Kenneth Walker comes to mind. Uh, DK Metcalf in moments. It feels like a playoff team that's just not going to see playoffs. And that's why you probably don't feel good about what currently happened for the Seattle Seahawks. Yes, it's a good thing to win uh, against a divisional foe on the road final game of the season, but you felt like you had the personnel to get into the postseason. Yes, you were dealing with injuries. Every team in the National Football League will do deal with injuries, but you still have to find a way to get things done. I thought I would see a better effort defensively from the Seahawks. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't see the same efficiency that we witnessed from their offense a year ago. And remember, this is a team last year that got into the playoffs. Right? So when you retain so many key contributors from a year ago, make a few additions here or there, you expect. one would think yeah. similar like uh, results. Then when you factor in what else is going on around you, yes, the San Francisco 49ers won the division easily. The best team played the best football. But guess who else got in the playoffs from your division? The Rams. Mm -hmm. One would think if you, were, if you were asked this question in August, if you had to pick two teams to represent the NFC West in the playoffs, I would say the majority would have said San Francisco, Seattle, based on the success that both teams had a year ago and with all the players returning. But guess who got in instead of Seattle? Sean McVay in the Los Angeles Rams. So that's another, another reason to feel some type of way because you're like, yo, the Rams found a way to get in with Puka Nakua, Kyron Williams, guys who we didn't really know of in the month of, of August like we know now. So when you factor in Kenneth Walker, you know, adding Jackson Smith and Jigba, DK coming back. Lock it. I mean, uh, some of the guys on the defensive side traded for Leonard Williams, you know, adding Devon Witherspoon. You know, you, you had so many key guys returning. You get a healthy Jamal Adams back. Remember, that was a big talk. That was big talk as well. And it just didn't result. We didn't see the results that we thought we would see for them to get into the playoffs. Yeah, you also don't get playoff football. And now you sort of don't get that premium pick either. It's that yeah. in between land, but close to playoff contention always here as they have set that bar of 500 or better under Pete Carroll. All right, here's a look at your NFC playoff picture. It is set. The 49ers on ice for Love a week. It. We look get at three and six, Joe. Seven. I mean, look at look at two versus seven. You just look at those logos. The Matthew Stafford Jared Goff game. You get the Matthew Stafford Bowl. Rams and Lions in Big D. That's a record holder heading back to the place that he once was. Eagles and Buccaneers. Some history there as well in the five versus four with momentum and maybe nothing else on the Buccaneers side. 